What's up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Pyrostasis here, and we are back in the world of uh, Kingdoms of Amalar. Now, you're going to notice my tune looks a little different this time. Now, it's the same character, but the nice thing about Kingdoms of Amalar is you can easily respec at any time. Now, previously I was into sorcery, now I am into finesse. Now, what I've done basically here, uh, I specialized in stealth, um, critical strike abilities, and poisons. Reason I've done that is I have a quest here, out of the past, to kill Brother Delph. Now, Brother Delph, problem with him is he is sitting up here in this nice little house here. So we're going to go ahead and save. Overwrite. All right. Now this tune is also wearing the pre-order armor. Uh, the pre-order armor obviously allows me... Whoa. Wait. Where did our target go? Pre-order armor allows me to be very, very awesome at either of the three classes. They have really nice um, bonuses for full set. They're not the greatest of armor class, but usually they have like an experience bonus. Uh, this one happens to have a stealth bonus. All right, so our target has actually, whoops, actually moved down here. Well, I'm glad you fight for justice. Good for you. Now, I've never actually killed a civilian yet in this game. Uh, the way, oh good, he's all by himself. Beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and poison my weapons. And then, I believe I already have the critical. Nope, now I do. I gotta kill this guy. What I'm gonna do... Oops. Why won't it turn on? Well, shit. Maybe I have to be out. That is very odd. You notice in the bottom left, I am turning on, or I'm trying to turn on, the ability to kill this bro. Sadly, it is not working. Hmm. I'll get a little distance and run back up here. Well, that's really strange. Alright, well, we're going to relog and see if that will fix it. Now, very similar to Skyrim, you can kill anything you want in the game. Um, however, unlike Skyrim, you actually have to enter, quote-unquote, non-peaceful mode. And so to do that, you have to press up on the directional pad with the controller. For some reason, it would not re-trigger. I don't know if it's something about where I'm at. Hmm. Well, we'll go inside again. Give this another go. What I'm blowing here is my different... Okay. There we go. Now you'll see how the timer is ticking down. I believe that's the timer before it will let me engage. There we go. Ah, oh, dude! 10,000 damage! Alright. Raped that dude. That was ridiculous. Holy shit. Alright. Once you've killed him, you can come over here to this nice little chest, which he has. Unlock it, and you've got some really nice shit in here. Now, you don't have to kill him to do this. Obviously, you can just loot all this stuff if you want by uh, pickpocketing him. Or, I forget, I think there's another way to do it. So, um, however, I did assassinate that guy. I don't know if this dude's going to be mad at me. Negative. It does not look like he knows. Okay, I do not want to be in hostile mode anymore. 
Oh yes, he is cowering. That's not good for me. Now this character, because I knew I might have to pay off the guards, um, I did set it up to where he has maxed out persuasion skill temper, or she has maxed out persuasion skill temporarily. That will allow me, come on, no, I cannot turn it off, oh well. That will allow me to easily pay off a bounty if, let me show you that. The destinies? No. Well, shit. Yeah, I guess I can't show that to you, which is odd. But it's your actual um, setups. And there's probably a way to do it. I just cannot seem to figure it out. But um, I've got maxed out stealth, obviously, and maxed out persuasion. So I want to see what happens when I come down here to the guard, see if she notices anything. Nope. Awesome. So I did manage to take him out completely silently, so to speak, and won't have any problems with the guards. So let's go down and check out our quest. The old friends, new foes, no. Huh. Well, I guess I just got it by killing him. Well, that's a bummer. And I'm really strongly considering staying stealth, because stealth is my actual preferred method of game playing. The problem I had, and the reason I switched over to mage uh, kind of at the beginning of the game, was mainly due to the fact that uh, you, know, you just couldn't stealth up on anything. It, it really, really sucked. So... Anyways, um, that's all for this video. I wanted to show you guys that assassination. I thought it was pretty badass. 10,000 damage on a guy. That poor bastard. Ugh. So, just going to continue to clear out all of the side quests over the next couple hours and then probably get back on the main quest and I'll start making videos for that. So, hope you guys are liking this series. If you do, please click that like button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other videos, tips, tricks, and guides. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.